All right, got a little colder, so I threw on the beanie and the hood, and we're buttoning up this, this campaign because it is getting cold. Okay, so real quick, this is a really simple one. We're gonna, just gonna show you how to uh, keep, your, keep your gear and equipment properly stored. I mean, have you ever gone to uh, the garage or got into a pannier or your backpack and tried to grab your rope, and it is just a disaster, and you gotta spend all this time coiling it up. So that is why most people don't take the time to coil it, even though they don't know how, and some people don't know how to properly coil it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that today, how to properly coil your rope, and then as far as carabiner storage goes, and carabiner rescue pulleys, I always keep a carabiner on my rescue pulley, and it just makes it really easy to hang, um, get access to, and then it's pretty much ready to go when you need it. So um, <clears throat> if your guy's in the back country working for me, do this, okay? Store your carabiners and your rescue pulleys like this. It makes it a lot easier, and it makes it pretty easy to hang on the wall or uh, clip onto your backpack or whatever you're gonna do. And so when coiling rope, there's two ways that we like to do it. And uh, I'm gonna head uncoil this one for us here. And then I'll, sh I'll just, I'm, I'm gonna uncoil this whole thing see do it here for you and so the first way that I'm going to show you how to coil your rope this is called the quick coil and it's pretty good for hanging or if you're riding a horse putting it all over your saddle horse um, saddle horn or something like that or uh, you know strapping on your backpack so quick coil when you start this process you kind of want to have um, about 10 inches of loop and then you start bringing it up and you can do it like this which is pretty fast weight. And the reason why I don't like doing this with long sections of rope is because what will happen is the bottoms will turn like that. And so what I like to do on the quick coil is just have about eight or 10 inches of uh, tail hanging out of my hand and I like to twist it and spin it. And then I'm rotating it with my fingers. And so by the time it gets to the coil and I just try to match up each coil loop. And so they look the same. If you just coil it quickly without without rotating it then it's going to twist up all on the bottom down here and start going like that and it'd be pretty hard to get undone even if you do coil it properly and actually tie it in nice with the uh, quick coil so what i'm doing is every time i turn this you can see my fingers i'm rotating it and then twisting it and so it twists into itself and you can tell when you're not doing it right like that one, I didn't do it right. This one, I didn't do it right. And this one, I didn't do it right. And these last three are starting to turn out and they'll start eventually making a circle around themselves. So we'll take the last co three coils out and then we'll rotate it with our fingers. Just rotate it in like that. And at the end, you'll start to see loops form at the end of your rope. So if you see a loop like this form in your rope of the tail end, that way you know you're doing it right is because it's trying to, you're unbinding it here. And so the bind goes to the, to the tail end of the rope. So we're gonna go ahead and just straighten that out, straighten that out. And then we have to keep twisting it. All right, we're almost to the end here of our 60 foot rope. I've got about uh, roughly probably three feet of rope. So to do the quick coil, what I'm gonna do is take the small lead that I started with and, and bend it back like that. And then I'm gonna start wrapping my tail end around my rope like this. And I'll just kind of keep doing that. And then when I feel like I've got it cinched down tight enough, then I'm going to put it through the eye right here. I'm going to, I've wrapped it around. I'm going to put the tail end through the eye and then I can hang it and I can tie a carabiner on here. I can do a quick overhand knot or whatever I want to do so that I can properly hang it. So that is the quick coil. So pretty simple. And then if, when you want to go and undo it, you just bring, the tail end back through the rope, back through the eye, uncoil it, 
and now you're ready to toss this out or to start using it at your um, disposal. So that is the quick coil. It's a great way to store your rope and highly recommend it. So when you get to your spot where you want to do your bear hang, your rope is ready to go, it saves you a lot of time. And typically by the time you're doing a bear hang when you're camping, you're pretty tired because that's your campsite. And it's usually the end of the day. So the more less you have to hassle with, the more happy you'll be. So that is a quick coil. Now we're going to go into uh, the second way of coiling your rope, which is called the mountaineering coil. And uh, it's probably my favorite one to do. So I'm going to go ahead and break this down and we'll start on that one. Okay guys, this is the second way of coiling a rope called the mountaineering coil. So you can do this with paracord, you can do it with a uh, seven millimeter rope, which we're going to use today, pretty much any rope um, that you have. So what I like to do is kind of go from tip of my fingers to the, my elbow joint here, and then I'll double it. So that's how much rope I feel like I need to be able to do, start the mountaineering coil properly. Again, I'll hold one end of the rope in my fingertips, go to my uh, joint and my elbow, and then I'll double it. So once I've doubled it, I'm gonna put it in my hand so I can visibly see the coil here. I kinda of wanna be about midway. So I'm a little bit this way of the eye and that's okay. And then I take the tail end and I put it in between my finger. And the reason is, is because I'm gonna need that later on. So that's how I feel like I need it right now. And then I'm just gonna wrap this one around my elbow like this. As you're going through here with your right hand, you wanna to try to pull off any of the knots that you have in, in the rope. And I don't actually like to do it very tight. It's just kind of nice and loosely sitting there. And so now that I've got it done, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my new tail lead and I'm gonna bring it right here, Cut, take my arm out. So it's important to have this tail end here. So now I've got the start tail end and I've got the finish tail end. This is the last piece that I looped and I've got my loop right here. So I wanna come over to my start tail end and with my finish tail end, I'm gonna start wrapping it around the top of all my rope. And you can do this till you pretty much run out of rope. And then you wanna put it through your, through your loop here that you formed earlier. And then grab your, fit, your start end and you're gonna pull the start end over the finish end. And now your, your mountaineering coil is not going anywhere and you can hang from this end, which is the finish end. So that is a mountaineering coil. So hopefully I described that okay. I'll go ahead and do the last step one more time. So this is our finish end. And what we have here is our start end. That's, the, that's what we held in my hand initially. All you do is just form a loop. And so we wanna go with our finish end through the eye over the top quite a few times. So, and now I've only got a little bit left of my finished tail. I'm gonna bring it through the start loop. I'm gonna hold it down here. And then I'm gonna to go to my start tail or my start end and I'm just gonna pull that loop and it's gonna tighten on this end. And then we've got our coil, easy to store, ready to go. And now we can do a bear hang when we get to camp pretty easily. So you can extend this if you want and make it much longer and have a longer tail, make a loop in it to hang or whatever you wanna do. So, but that is the mountaineering coil. Hopefully it's really helpful to you guys. Um, and that's uh, the two ways of storing your rope properly. If you have any questions about it, uh, please comment in the description or in the, please comment in the comment section below and uh, click on the next video.